Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a hard cat track with not so well dilated people. However, I could manage this case without using any people expansion device. Let us observe this surgery. By this time, the incisions have been made and at this time, the anterior capsule is being stained with tripan blue dye. Adrenaline has been administered in the anterior chamber, but the people didn't dilate much. However, the size of the people is about 4.5 millimeter, and if this dilatation remains, we can manage this case. As I inject visco, the people has dilated little more, so it has become about 5 millimeter. So we will get a rexis of about 5 millimeter and once we get a rexis of that size, even if the pupil becomes small during surgery, sometimes we can manage. However, if necessity arises, we must use pupil expansion device. In this case, I could easily manage without using any people expansion device. I do not want to pass this message that such cases should be done without people expansion device. It is a case-wise decision. You have to see what case you have, what situation you are in, and accordingly, you have to take the decision. And now is the time to do capsulorexis. And I am going to do a capsulorexis with the help of a utrita forceps. one more side port on the left side of the main incision and now here goes the utrita forceps. The capsular tag is raised by the tip of the utrita forceps and the capsular tag is guided in such a way that it just goes beyond the pupillary margin so that we get a rexis little larger than 4.5 millimeter. In this case, as I started rexis, as some visco came out, the people became small. So in these cases, we should go little beyond the pupillary margin to get a rexis of about 5 millimeter. Hydro dissection has been done, and now is the time to do to manage the nucleus. The FECO needle goes in with its bevel down, some superficial cortical lens matter is removed and as I do this, see the size of the pupil has become smaller. Size of the pupil is about 3 millimeter now. And as I try to chop the nucleus, this size Still, it is about 3 millimeter, but sometimes it will be smaller than this. This cataract is hard, but not very hard. Nuclear sclerosis is about grade 4. If it is a hard and black cataract, we should not take this chance of doing it without people expansion device. In those very hard nuclei, we should use a people expansion device. We should have visibility of a larger area and then do the case. This is my, my personal view. So we are almost 
done with the one heminucleus and now we come to the other heminucleus. This is the first job on this second heminucleus and this is another job on this. And now these fragments are not free, they are joined centrally. So I tilt it and go to the apex as I apply some ultrasonic energy at the apex, the pieces become separate and we can manage those pieces easily. During emulsification of the last piece, I decrease the, I decrease the vacuum and flow rate and it is done. There are some small nuclear bits at the side port at around 2 o'clock and that has to be removed. In this case, I am going to use a B cartridge. So, I enlarge the main wound little bit. So, the 2.8 millimeter wound becomes about 3 millimeter. Now, the small nuclear bits can come out easily by irrigation pressure. And now this epinuclear material, I did not try to remove this with the FECO hand piece. Simco is a safer choice since visibility is there for a smaller area. I did not try to remove this, remove this epinucleus by the FECO hand piece. And now I retract the iris and see whether the cortex is there. There is some cortex at around 12.30 o'clock that is removed. So we can retract the iris and see where some cortex is there and we can remove that cortex. So it is cortex is nicely removed. Now once the cortex is removed, our next step is to implant an intraocular lens. And in this case, a hydrophilic acrylic single piece monofocal lens has been selected. And the lens is placed in the bag by a push of the left hand instrument. And now there, are, there is a lot of visco, 2% uh, SPMC in the anterior chamber as well as in the capsular bag. That has to be removed nicely. First, I use a Simco cannula, it goes behind the eye well also, and the irrigation of capsular bag is done so that this code that is there comes out. And now, this is the irrigating probe of bimanual IA, irrigate all around. And now, I use irrigation and aspiration together. This is a bit of moxifloxacin. The side ports are closed by hydrating corneal stroma on either side of these step wounds. And then a final lavage of the anterior chamber. 
So in this case, though the size of the pupil was about 3 millimeter, sometimes 2.5 millimeter during emulsification of the nucleus, it could be managed. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical competence.